this is a quadratic function or a second degree function. So its graph is the parabola. The coefficient of x squared is negative, so the parabola opens down. A, find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. In other words, the y-values of these points are equal to zero. And y is f of x. So we're going to find these x values by setting f of x equal to zero. So we have minus x squared plus 4x plus 5 equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve it by factoring. Um, the left-hand side, you can see the leading coefficient is negative, and it would be easier to factor if we factor out a negative one. So minus times x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. Dividing both sides by negative 1, we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. And we can factor out the left-hand side. And the factors are x minus 5 times x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. The first factor will give us x equals to 5, and the second one will give us x equal to, equals to negative 1. So the two x intercepts are 5, 0, and minus 1, 0. I find it convenient to graph these points as I find them, so I'm going to do part E now. This is the point five zero. And this is the point minus one zero. B. Find the y-intercept. The graph crosses the y-axis at the y-intercept. So the x value of the y-intercept is equal to 0. And we need to find the y value when x is 0. So Putting in 0 in our function, you see that f of 0 is 5. It's always the constant c of your given function. So the y-intercept is the point 0, 5. Now let's graph the y-intercept.
this is the point zero 0.05, the y-intercept. C, the equation of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line. And the equation of this vertical line is x equal to minus b over 2a. And b is positive 4, so minus b is minus 4 divided by 2 times a, which is minus 1. So we have minus 4 over minus 2 which is 2. So the axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals to 2. We are now going to plot it on our graph. Now, the vertical line x equals to 2 is the axis of symmetry. And you can see that the x-intercepts are symmetrical to each other about the vertical line x equals to 2. You see the 0 0.50 is 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right of the axis of symmetry. And the point minus 1, 0 is also three spaces, but it is to the left of the axis of symmetry. Similarly, we can find a point that is symmetric to the y-intercept. We don't need it, but it will help us in sketching the graph. Now, at the same height as the y-intercept, we will find the symmetric point on the other side. The y-intercept is two spaces to the left of the axis of symmetry. So the symmetric point will be two spaces to the right of the axis of symmetry. And therefore, that point is 4 for x and 5 for y. 4, 5 it will be the other side. We don't need it, but it will be helpful in sketching the graph. D, the vertex. The vertex is on the axis of symmetry, so we know its x value must be 2. And we need to find the y value. In other words, we are looking for f of 2. Plugging 2 into the given function, we have minus 2 square plus 4 times 2 plus 5. We should get 9. So the vertex is the point 2, 9, and we're going to graph it right now. So we have all the points that are that we found, we will just graph, sketch it. So around the vertex is a little rounded, and we will just connect the vertex on the left-hand side to the y-intercept, then down to the x-intercept, and it will go on from there. And on the right-hand side of the axis of symmetry, it will go to the other symmetrical point through the other x-intercept, and here we are.
And that's the wrap. And that's the wrap.